Hey guys, Reginald Duck here, back today with another exciting deck profile. So today, um, new ban list, new build of the deck, because Black Dragon BA is dead, and that was probably my favourite build for a long time. But they did give us Bardish back, and obviously now got three Tour Guide, two Graph, two Seer. So this is probably the best the deck's been in years. I'm really excited, so let's get into it. So for the main deck, for the first time since I've actually played the deck, we've got three Tour Guide, because I didn't actually play this deck when it first came out. So three, it's just the best starter, it really is. Great normal summon, search for Scarm. Um, I'm so glad it's back at three. Two copies of Seer, I never actually thought I'd see the day, but it's just nice that if you draw one, you can still combo, and obviously you know, it gives you a much better grind game, but it's just really, really great. Same for the graph, glad that you know it's back at two. Gives the deck a lot more sort of staying power. You can do your combo more than once, which is really great. Three copies of Scarm because I really want to mill it and be able to get the tour guide for the next turn. And also, the high BA count gives me more access to Beatrice. I find in this build you don't want to use Dante that much, but you do want to use it as sort of a stepping stone to the Beatrice. So, playing three copies of Scarm, three copies of Farfa. Again, you just want that disruption. It's also an extender. So again, just a great card. And lastly, one copy of Libic. You could swap out one of the Farfas for like another one of the different names if you wanted to, you know, maximise their extension while you know, not breaking. But I think the Farfa is just one of the better ones, so just gone for one Libic. And onto the Phantom Knight package. I've got three copies of Silent Boots. This card is incredible. It's an extender. It's a searcher, and it itself is searchable. So that's broken. Two copies of Ancient Cloak. This is the one that searches the boots. It's again really good. Can't wait for new support. Again, this deck's gonna get even better. So two of those and the one ragged gloves. This is the same Phantom Knight package that you played last time when Bardish was around, so very standard. And you've got two copies of Rhino Warrior. I didn't see the point in playing three, but it is nice to have, especially uh, if you don't open another normal so you can use normals on this, that might summon out a BA or whatever. Really great card gives you essentially an extra dump on Cherry Bean. So it means you can then send another extender, so really great card. Now for the extenders again, I'm playing three copies of Scorpio. I think this is one of the best normal summons of this part of the tour guide, because it gets you not only another three, but it also gets you an instant fusion, which then is another three. So this can actually get you three level three monsters, which is really great. One copy of Cobra. Just try not to draw it. Um, one tracker. One wielder. Just level three extenders, both great, you know, just control level three, summon it. Um, one Suchinoko. I didn't bother playing the Jackalope because you kind of need to draw it first, whereas this you can draw it whenever, so one Suchinoko. One Terratop. One Takatumbog. Um, both really great. This isn't even that bad to draw if you've got the instant fusion because the level 3 is a wind. I've picked the wind level 3 because of this, so you know it's not always that bad to draw. One Egypt Sabres, really great card. Helps fix your hands if you're drawing, for example, Red Eyes Fusion. And it's easily sendable off either a Rhino Warrior or off the Cherubini, so very good card for fixing your hand. One Archiver. It's like the Sabres, except you don't have to waste a card in hand. They have slightly different purposes, but in terms of like just being an extender, this one is better. So I do play both. And then the last two monsters. One Red Eyes Black Dragon. And one Dark Magician. We all know why. One copy of Red Eyes Fusion for the Anaconda play. Um, you only need the one. You don't actually melt off the Dante a lot of the time, so you're very safe with this card. And if you draw it, you can actually put it back. So that's really good. One copy of Instant Fusion. Um, I play a couple of targets. You've got the um, Winder and the Level Three Instant Fusion target as well. And then onto the onto the traps. We've got one copy of the Shade Brigandine. I'm not 100% on this card because while it is an extender, you can't go into certain cards with it. Like for example, you can't make the Anaconda with this because it is treated as a normal monster. But it's still quite interesting and I do still like it. And lastly, we've got three copies of Fogblade. This card's broken, it's easily searchable, 
if you draw one and then you've done your combo, you actually end on three flag plays, such as three negations, three you know stopping attacks. Really fantastic card, and the fact it's free just makes it so much better. And then obviously it extends by banishing to you know bring back one of your guys. It can even bring back your links, or it can bring back your X Y Z V break sword. So that's it for the main deck. And now for the extra deck, we've got one copy of Dante, signed by Tom Rose. Thank you, Tom. I found you only need the one copy of Dante because you don't actually mill off it that much. It's more of a gateway to Beatrice. So it's still really great. You can recur it with the Seer, which is not two. So you only need the one copy. Got the one copy of Breaksword. I've been considering upping this to two, but I'm not really sure of what to cut for it. So at the minute, I'm just playing the one. Got one copy of Levier. This card is actually broken in this deck because it just gets back any Phantom Knights you need so you can use them again next turn while going equal because it actually summons a guy back so you can make this essentially for free and then go off with it. One copy of Time Thief Redoer. This is to summon after you summon back two of your PKs off Breaksword. This could be any level plenty rank four dark. A lot of people play um, Dark Rebellion. This could be that, it could be whatever you want. I just chose Redo because I really like this card. I think it's quite grindy. You can sort of get your head, stop your opponent, you know, like getting rid of it. It's just a very irritating card to deal with. So I'm playing the Redoer. Got one copy of Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. This card is broken. It's really easily accessible, especially with such a high BA count. So you just want to be able to get this as just an additional interruption. You can banish, you know, you can have either a Farfer underneath it or you can send a Farfer off it to get rid of a card in your opponent's turn. Um, then for the fusions we've got one Dragon S the Wicked Knight. This is the card I was telling you about you can summon off instant fusion and then if you've got the Decaton Bargain in hand you can just summon it so this card's probably the best instant fusion target for this deck at least as a level 3 extender anyway. And you've also got the one copy of El Shadol Winder. The Cherubini protects this from being destroyed by the instant fusion, so you can just go for a sort of smaller combo and end on like Cherubini, Winder, and the Dragoon, so that's really strong. And obviously the Anaconda as well. So one Winder. Got one copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. This card is broken. Really easily accessible. Literally any two effect monsters results in this card. So you just do it as the last party combo. Really good. Discard, negate a card. Um, gain a thousand and then destroy two and it can't be targeted or destroyed ridiculous card so glad I pulled on and for the last fusion we are playing the fusion Dante I genuinely don't think this card's that good but it's it punishes your opponent for trying to for not playing around the Beatrice so I really want to you know punish my opponent so this card's actually really funny and quite cool as well so I do like it got one copy of Cherubini, it's your play starter, you make this first almost all the time. It's the reason to play the deck. Dante's cool, but this card's where all the combos come from. Got one copy of Anaconda. This card needs to be banned. There is no way you should be able to fusion someone from the deck. It is just it's ridiculous. It's way too strong. The cost almost doesn't exist, only paying two thousand, who really cares? broken card. One copy of Phoenix. This is just generic back row removal. If there's any spice you want to play you could always cut this but I do still like it. We got one copy of Unicorn. Again nothing spicy just gets rid of a card. I often find that I'm just trying to be cheesy and put my own fog blades so then I can just set them again. You know after I've used them like they've been nulled. So you want Unicorn. One Rusty Bardish. This card is fresh off the ban list, absolutely broken. I love this card, generates so much advantage. Um, just the Cherubini just gets you straight there because obviously it's something to save from the deck of the graph. So, this is really easy to make in the deck, it sets you up with like two negations, helps you extend. I love this card, I was so upset when it got banned, and now I'm so glad it's back. Then, lastly, we've got one copy of Axis Code Talker. I was unsure whether I should play this or Borrow Sword, but I figure this is better because they both do roughly the same amount of damage, but this can pop cards as well. So I think it's actually a lot stronger than Barrel Sword. And with all the nightmares and stuff, it's actually quite easy to climb into as well. So, again, great card. 
and it's just a really easy way to end games. So that's it for the extra deck. The side deck, we've got three copies of Nibiru. I think this is the best hand trap this format. At least the best that's easily playable. I think Dimension Shift is the best, but you can't play it in a lot of decks, especially not this deck. So three Nibiru. One Pankratops. If I could play more, I would. Really great against like the Dogmatic Punishment and stuff, and just any back row you don't want to deal with. So just fight out of the back row, then just commit to the board. Three copies of Gamma Seal. Dragoon is a real problem, so you just want to be able to get rid of it easily, in a really simple way. Two Killmongus. Again, Dragoon is ridiculous. You don't want to face it, you just want to get rid of it and then make your own Dragoon. Three copies of Kaiju Slumber. Um, I find going second can be quite hard for a lot of decks this format, so I'm just trying to play a lot of blowout cards and I don't have droplets, so three Kaiju Slumber. And lastly, three copies of Evenly Matched. This card is broken, um, just resets the board essentially, gets rid of everything. You only have to deal with one card. So, absolutely broken. I love this card. So, this has been my PK Fire deck list. I've really enjoyed making it. I really enjoy playing the deck. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.